Now I showed you how to take the driver out of the speaker. You can replace the whole driver like this or you can also replace the diaphragm inside depending on how you get the part. These four screws right here will take this driver here apart. Then you can easily access the diaphragm inside. Now depending on which driver, this has no number so it's a little bit more difficult as to how to, um, how should I say, um, find the right, right, right replacement driver. Now as you see I took the back off so I can access the diaphragm. Here's the diaphragm. Now you can, like I said, you can get the diaphragm and order just it. Okay. And if you can see real close here, the little dark right in here, that is how you can tell well, what it's happened. What you know that dark, that turning dark like that is what fried the diaphragm with excessive volume. But there's the one side, and as you, there's how the, you know. But that's exactly how you take take the diaphragm out of your. This is again this this driver is for the tweeter, which is your high notes. And it just goes in just like this. And that that's how you would put the new one in. And then these here, that don't matter. As you can tell, there's the four screws. I'm not gonna turn it over because I don't want to lose the screws. I didn't take them out. But these goes right back like that and you just screw the screws back down after you get the new driver which i still gotta get that um but i want to keep it as a backup and there's the front view that's how you replace the driver uh the um diaphragm inside the driver